Hey everybody, welcome back to the Half Naked Quilter. My name is Clay and this is Season 1, Episode 8. And we are closing in on the end of Season 1. So in the last episode, you finished your first quilt top. So now what we're going to talk about in this episode is how you're going to get it quilted, right? Um, and then we've got one more episode after this where I'll teach you how to put the finishing, the binding around the outside edge. And then we're done with season one. Okay, so like I said, in this episode, we're going to talk about getting your quilt quilted. Now, you can do the quilting on a home sewing machine. It's completely possible. In fact, for my art pieces, I have, that's what I have a tendency to do because I'm a bit of a control freak over my art pieces. Um, but frankly, quilting, especially a big quilt on a home machine, is complicated and it, it requires a ton of practice and it's just not for the faint-hearted. Um, what nearly all of us do is when we've got a quilt that we need to get quilted, we take it to somebody called a long-arm quilter. Now what a long-arm quilter is, is somebody has one of these giant computerized quilting machines. They're like 15 feet wide. Um, typically set up in their basement or in, a, in, in, in their living room or whatever. This is a fantastic home-based business, and most long armors are, are home-based businesses. Um, you take it to a long armor, and they quilt it for you. And then they give it back to you, and you put the binding on. So we're going to take, we're going to go meet my, the long armor that I work with. Uh, her name is Georgia. She's fantastic. Um, we're going we're gonna to take the quilt to her, and then we're going to let her talk to us a little bit about what pieces of information is your long armor going to need from you? And what, what, makes sure, what do you need to make sure that you take away from that conversation yourself? Because um, what you will do together is work out all the details. Uh, long arm quilting machines, uh, they can do motif-based quilting you know, in, in little sections. Um, and for heirloom pieces, I spend the money because it's more expensive to do it that way because they have to manually place it every time. Um, but what most of us do is just an all-over quilted design. And that's what these machines are fantastic at, and they're really fast at it. Um, it's just an all-over quilted design, edge to edge, back and forth, back and forth. But you got to pick the pattern, because these machines have hundreds and hundreds of patterns in them. And you can talk to your long, long armor and say, hey, I'm, you know, I'd, I'd love to have something that's butterflies. Or I had one that I said, do you have a hibiscus pattern? Turns out she had one. Um, it was this pink flamingo floral thing that I did for a friend of mine's niece. I was like, do you have hibiscus? She's like, sure enough, she did, right? Um, so it's just an all over pattern. Um, and that's what most of us will do for most of our quilts. Uh, most of the, well, all of the long armors can do more high-end quilting where there's like a pattern in a particular square or a particular area or something different along the borders. They can do all that. It's just more expensive because it takes more time from them. So most of us, for most of our quilts, just be an all-over pattern. So when you go meet your long armor, um, you'll talk about what pattern do you want. You'll discuss thread colors because the thread color for quilting actually makes a huge difference. Um, it can make the quilting just a texture or you can see the quilt stitching and it actually becomes part of the design. Um, and you can talk to your long armor about that as well. Um, your long armor also may have other services they provide. For instance, a lot of them can provide the batting. Um, they just buy it on giant rolls and it's cheaper just to get it from them. Some, some long armors you'll need to bring the batting as well. And when you have your first phone conversation with them, you'll find that out. Um, the other service that a lot, a lot of long armors can provide is to actually do the binding for you around the outside edge. Um, many of them provide that as an additional service. It's additional charge. But particularly for the really big quilts, you know, you're going to discover when we get to the last episode here and I talk about bindings, I hate doing bindings. It just takes forever. Um, and so for the really big ones, often I'll contract uh, Georgia to just do it for me, right? So sometimes they can do that as well. Um, and if that's something you want to be interested in, you can talk to them about it. It's an additional charge. They'll need you to bring the fabric. They'll tell you how much. Um, these folks are really, really experienced. So kind of let them drive the conversation because they know what they need. Um, the, so we're going to go talk to Georgia. Uh, she lives about 25 minutes from here. Uh, but before we do that, um, let me talk a little bit about how, how you're going to find a long armor. Um, especially if you're new to this, like how am I going to find a long armor? All right. Like I said, they're mostly home-based businesses. So it's not like you're going to find them advertising on billboards and stuff, right? Or pop-ups on your on, you know, web browsing. Your best bet 
to get a recommendation for a long arm quilter is a quilt store, a quilt fabric store. If you've got one in your area or even one that's nearby, like the next city over or something, just walk in and say, hey, I'm a new quilter. I just finished my first top. I need to get it quilted. Can you recommend a long arm quilter? And they will have business cards because the long armers drop business cards off at all the quilt shop. That's one of the ways they advertise. Pardon me, that's one of the ways they advertise. Um, and the people at the shop will know a good, a good person to recommend you to. So your first bet is to go to a quilt shop and say, hey, can you, you know, refer me to a long armor? If you don't have a quilt shop where you are or nearby, your second bet is to go to one of the big box fabric stores like a Joanne. Uh, go back to the cutting counter and say, hey, same thing. I, I finished my first quilt. I need to get a quilt. Can you recommend a long armor? Often they will have business cards as well or can refer you to somebody because this is a pretty small community. Everybody knows everybody else in a particular area. So they'll be able to point you to somebody often. Um, your third option is to contact a local quilt guild. Quilt guilds are like quilting clubs, right? It's all the people in an area get together typically once a month and you have somebody demonstrating something or showing the project that they're working on. Sometimes they'll bring in an outside speaker. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, if there's not a quilt guild in your area, but there's one nearby, that's fine too. They are fantastic resources because they will know who all the long arm quilters probably within the three state area are, right? That's one of the nice things about having access to a quilt guild. It's, I, I joined the one here in the Coachella Valley for just that reason. Um, they can often give you a good recommendation as well. Um, often the local long armors are members of the guild. So it's really, really easy to get contact. So first option, go to a quilt shop, ask for help. Second option, go to a big box fabric store. They can often help you as well. Third option, contact a quilt guild someplace in your area. Um, they will be able to point, they, I'm sure they will be able to point you to somebody. Now, if you get completely stumped and none of those things works, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll try to keep an eye on things. And if you're someplace where there's just is a wasteland for quilting, I'll try to keep an eye on the comment section and use my network and see if I can find just somebody or give you a couple of ideas. Um, I don't look at it every day, so it may take me a while to get to it, but if you get completely just can't come up with anything, um, drop a comment in the comments section and I'll do what I can to, to touch my network and see if I can find somebody for you. So, um, but once you find a long arm quilter that you like, um, it really becomes kind of a working relationship. George and I have been working together now for probably four years. She's probably done, I don't know, 40 quilts for me, 40 or 50 quilts for me. Um, and some quilts I take her, I take to her and I know what I want. It's like, hey, I'm really looking for like that hibiscus pattern for the flamingo quilt I did. I know what I want. Sometimes I bring her a quilt, I'm like, I haven't got any idea. <laughs> and she'll look at it and go, oh, well, how about this? Or she'll say, let me, let me look through my, my library of quilting patterns and I'll, I'll text you some pictures of them and we'll figure it out. Um, nine times out of 10, actually more than nine times out of 10 with Georgia, she picks something, it's perfect, and we're, we're off to the races. Um, there have been times literally where I've dropped off a pile of quilts and just said, do it because I trust her judgment, because we've been working together for so long. Um, and if you can develop a relationship like that with a long armor, it's really cool. Um, because you get, you get some help, you get a second set of eyes. Um, there have been times where I've taken her a quilt and I didn't realize that I flipped the block and I get a phone call, it's like, Clay, I'm gonna send you a picture. <laughs> and sure enough, I flipped the block and didn't even notice it. Um, there have also been times, I'm gonna have to show you all this quilt. Um, one of the very first log cabins that I did here recently, um, I flipped one of the blocks. I didn't catch it. Georgia didn't catch it. I didn't catch it when it came back. My boyfriend who, photo who photographs all these for me, he didn't catch it when he photographed them. And it wasn't until I was looking through the pictures like two weeks later and I went, hold it, something doesn't know. Oh no. So that became one of the ones that I got to keep. <laughs> but, it, you know, I still like it and it comes with a great story, right? Um, but they'll be really good about catching things like that as well because they look at quilts day in, day out. And it's just, it's, it, like I said, it's their business. So, alrighty, so let's go talk to Georgia and find out how to work with a long arm quilter. Hey! Hey, hey Georgia! Come on in, Clay! I got thank quilts for you. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. You uh, look great as usual. Thank you. Oh, I love your hair. Thank you. All right, before we get started, uh, let's show them your machine real quick. 
Okay. So that's what we're talking good. about. It sounds like a good idea. We could do that. I have a quilt here all set up and ready oh, cool. to start just so we can show everybody. Yeah, go ahead. Fun. And, um, so folks, what you're looking at here is the long arm quilting machine that I've been talking about this whole time. Um, Georgia has one of the really fancy ones. It's all computerized. And she's got a quilt set up to do for another one of her customers. So she's going to show us real quick how it works. Yes. So it's all computerized. Here's the screen. And um, obviously it's a Paris little motif. And that's the design that she chose. So we are going to do that. And I have to do my edge to edge. So let me come over here and get the machine. And I So what I will do, I won't start it because it's kind of loud right oh, now. Oh, right. But yeah. I will kind of show you how we get it going cool. and start okay. it. So what I have to do is click my four corners, get the machine, all the way to the edge, and I have to back it up a couple of inches so it doesn't hit the bar. Oh, right. So you can pick whatever design you like. I have hundreds of designs to choose from. So I just put in this top part, center part here, and then I will add the measurements for the length, and then it will tell me, it'll calculate for me how many designs across and how many down. Cool. So, and then once it gets going, it's all computerized okay. and, right? yeah, these are actually really cool machines. What, what you're seeing here is, is really close to probably what you'll see when you go to see your long arm culture for the first time. Um, they'll have a machine like this. There's several different manufacturers. They're all gigantic machines that take up rooms. Um, but you, you can see that, that uh, once I get it set it up on the machine, if you, if you look down here, you can see here's the top, here's the batting, and here's the backing. And you'll notice that the batting and the backing are sticking out beyond the edge of the, the, the top. That's going to be an important thing we're going to talk about in a minute um, because your, your backing is going to have to be bigger in order for her to be able to load it onto the right. long arm machine. Right. And we'll talk about that when we go sit at the table here right. in a minute. Yeah, uh, if I don't have enough back and batting, these clamps will come into here and you will lose a portion of your borders. Uh, so right. you always want to give your quilter enough room, top and bottom and sides. Nice. Right? Cool. Hey. Alrighty, yeah. When these these things get going, it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> but she's right; they're super noisy, so she's not going to start it right now. Before you leave, we will get it started. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go sit down and talk. Okay, let's do that. Bring over the quilt. I'm excited. Okay. All right. So uh, before we get started, I know that I'm supposed to be shirtless. This is the half naked quilter, but I don't want our neighbors to get ideas. So I'm will. wearing a shirt. Yeah, and they will, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, you had a chance to see the machine. So uh, at some point you'll sit down with the long armor that you've chosen and you'll have to have a conversation because they're gonna need some information from you. They're, they're gonna give information back again. Um, so we're just gonna talk through that really quickly. Um, every conversation is gonna be different with each long armor, but there's a basic set of information that they're gonna need and a couple of decisions that you have to make. So I've got the quilt here. You want to make sure you bring that with, with you. They'll probably want to fold it open and look at it. Yeah. We're not going to bother because uh, it's too unwieldy to do that. Um, so thanks for showing the machine. Absolutely. Um, Pleasure to have you here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So when, when somebody comes to you and you've not worked with them before, what pieces of information do you need from them? Okay. So when you come to see me or your long arm quilter, what... The, the most important things that we need to know is what color thread you want, what design you may want, and we have hundreds of designs to choose from. Um, if your back for your quilt is, say you have it, you have to have it centered or it's directional, make sure you let us know. Oh, that's right. Like if you if you piece the back, we didn't have to piece the backs for this one because it's small. Um, but I brought you bigger ones that I've had to piece the backs and you need to know which way the yes. piecing goes. Yes. Right. Or if it's directional, I mean, usually we could see that, but make sure you mention that because mm -hmm. there may be something that you know that we don't, we're not mind readers, we can't read your mind. Right. So we try what we can do. Um, at least four to six inches um, on the back and your batting so that we can attach it to the machine like you showed. Me. Right, we showed that over there. So that, this is really important, your backing can't be the same size as your top. 
Correct. In fact, when we put the backings together, we cut the backings, we added four inches all the way around, and most yeah. long armors need, what, four to six yeah, inches? Yeah, some need more. Yeah. And, and I, I like four to six. Three to six right. is good. I'm good with that for the back and the batting, not just uh, right. the back. Now, let's talk about batting for a minute. Now, um, some long armors have, carry the batting and stock they buy giant rolls of it like right. you do. Yeah. And so they'll provide it for a fee, right, and they'll take care of all that. There are some that will need you to bring the batting. Well, right. if you want a specific batting, like if you want wool or you want um, maybe some kind of polyester, then you would bring your batting to right. the long arm quilter. But make sure that she knows or he knows because some machines don't like certain battings. Like my machine does not like the thick, high loft. The, the really it high loft. It does stuff, not right. like that at all. So make sure that you do talk that over with the quilter. Uh, for your quilt. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, but like I said, a lot of the long armors, just they carry the, the, the batting because they buy it in giant rolls and they get a good price on it. Um, and honestly, I just use whatever it is they buy. You know, it makes it, it easier makes for it me. It makes it easier for yeah. everybody, yeah. Um, but the most important thing here is that your backing has to be four inches bigger in all four dimensions right. than your quilt top is. Because if you, if you bring her a backing that's the same size as the quilt top, she can't do it. Okay, what else? Let me know if you're back. Um... And I think that, that those are the most important right, things. Right, right. So when you do bring it to me, you talk about the thread color you would like. Right. You talk about the design you would like. Um, the quilter will tell you how long it will take for you to get your quilt back. Right, and we've talked about this. The good long armors are backed up. You know you've got a good one when he or she says to you it's probably going to be a month. Or it might be two months. Yeah. Or could be if it's holiday season, it could be, longer. It could be months and months. Right. You know, the good ones are backed up. So don't be put off if uh, the long armor you talk to says, hey, it's going to be six weeks because it probably means they're really good and everybody's using them. Just saying. Also, okay. don't wait till November to have a quilt booked it oh, for, holiday. for a Christmas present <laughs> yeah. at the last minute. That's very hard for the culture to do because yeah. she's got a lot of other customers ahead of you. And so most of the sure time they'll never get it, it done. Yeah. Right. Most of the time they'll never get it. Okay, so for this one, um, what what color of thread do you think we should use on this? Well it, is, is it for someone special? No, this is this is this this is the sample project for the class. Okay. Um, and I'm I'm gonna keep this as as a demonstration for, piece. Okay. Um, so this is a standard it, nine patch. It's like all the other nine patches I brought you. Okay, right? perfect. So I would say it. Let's let's hypothetically say it's for a, a teenage girl, and mm -hmm. she likes purple. Then you would probably want purple thread. Oh, right, because then you'd actually see the stitching. Yes, right, yes. right, 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 right. And it's butterflies. And say she loves butterflies, we would quilt butterfly uh, a motif on there, right. and it would be really cute. So um, Clay's usually cool about it and says, "Do what I think would look cute." And, yeah. I was thinking maybe this, maybe pull the pale lavender. Well, then you'll see it against the dark. That's actually not a bad thing. You know, we can actually go either way. Yeah. You know, you know, when okay. So once you once you start working with a long armor, you'll come to trust them. I trust George. We oh we've been working together for years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I trust her judgment, and half the time I'll bring her quilts and say, "Do what makes sense," because I trust her judgment. He drives by, throws them at me, throws I them at me, and runs away. Grab them. Yeah, that's, okay. that's exactly what I do. <laughs> Um, there are some times where we'll have a deeper conversation because it's a special gift, like the other one that I've, I've brought today. Um, for this one, this could be the purple, this could be the lavender, you know what? Throw both threads against it and okay. pick, you know, pick which one you think works. I, I'd be fine either way. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of threads, if you want a variegated or a specific thread, you might have to provide it for the long arm quilter. Right. Because we cannot carry all of them. Right. And uh, make sure it is the type of thread that that our long arm quilter uses. Right. Okay. Really, the secret here is communication, honestly. And then once once you've been working with, with with your long armor for a while, a lot of this will become second nature because you have a really solid working relationship already. Like so she, she's probably done, I don't know, thirty probably oh, quilts of right. over the last several Very years. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. In terms of the design for this, um, because again, because Georgia and I have a tendency, we've done a lot of these. Right. I'll bring her one and say, pick the design that works, because I trust her judgment. Um, for this one, probably what will happen is, as you're talking with your long armor, they might su suggest some patterns. You might have some idea about the patterns. They'll pull up some examples from their machine, right. and then you right. pick one. Now, in this case, she pulled up several different options, right? And I've decided which one I want. And so as a part of this conversation, I'm going to say, I want that one. 
So yeah, so right. we will do what you want. Right. Um, but he, like I said, they hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of designs. And so if you can give them some idea of, hey, I really would like this done in butterflies, then they'll go pull the 600 butterfly patterns <laughs> they've got, right? Um, or you could ask them for suggestions. What, yeah, um, absolutely. All right, so we know which design we're going to do. Um, I'd find either the, the purple or the lavender. lavender lay okay. them against it and see what you well, think. Well, I will audition them. I will lay them against here and see which one looks the best. Right. And um, go with that. Yeah. That'll look nice. Okay, I've got the backing, and as always, it's far too big because that's what I do. Um, so, what, how far, how, how backed up are you at this Let's point? Let's say about six weeks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, and that's normal. That's normal. You're going to hear that, and don't freak because, like I said, the good ones are busy. Um, and then we have to talk about the other project that I brought, but we'll do that off camera. Great. Okay. So at this point, you're okay. going to. They've got everything that they need. Yep. You've answered all the questions. You've also agreed on a price, so they will talk to you about what the pricing is going to be. Yeah, um, they'll probably price it based on the dimensions that you exactly. tell them, but they will measure it for real when they quilt it, and you'll get a final price yeah, based absolutely. on the final dimensions that they actually measure themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Easy do, to do. Do most long armors where they charge by the square, by inch, the square inch? By the square inch. By the square inch. Some by the hour, uh, length of time it takes to do it. Right. Uh, but most are by the square inch. Okay, cool. So you'll talk, you'll talk, you'll agree on kind of a price range, um, and then you hand it off. And then at some point in the future, <laughs> X number of weeks, we right? Run with it. You'll get a call and say your quilt is ready. Yeah. And that's what we'll talk about in the next episode: is yeah. getting it back, what it's going to look like when, when I get it back from Georgia, and how to put the binding on. Absolutely. All right, Great. see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was wonderful to see you. Yeah, see you again. Cool. Okay, so we're back. I told you Georgia's a hoot. So I handed off the quilt and the backing. She's going to provide the batting because she gets it on giant rolls at a discount. And I think she said it was probably going to be four to six weeks out. Um, when we get that back from her, then we'll pick up with the last episode of season one. It'll be episode nine where I'll show you what it looks like when it comes back from the long armor and how to put the binding around the outside edge, which is the very last step of the process. And then we're done for season one. So go find your long armor, hand off your quilt and the backing. And when, when it comes back from the long armor, come look at season nine and we'll finish it up. Bye.